What's up guys, Matt Tolbert. So we are headed into the snowstorm. Uh, there was no snow out here yesterday when I went to bed and woke up and it's just snowing super hard. So I said, hey, let's jump in the van and uh, let's go see some Christmas lights tonight. So we're actually headed to Bentleyville, which is just over an hour away in perfect conditions. But with the snowstorm, it might take a couple hours, but thank God I do have snow tires on now. Well, it's saying it's about a two hour drive to Duluth, Minnesota, but I think that's probably calculating the, some of the snow and the slowdowns, but this will be a fun little uh, road trip for us in the snow. It looks like somewhere Steve Wallace would camp. Snow's still coming down. We're getting closer to Duluth. It's not as heavy as it was currently, but uh, I'm sure it'll pick back up here in a little bit. While we wait for it to get dark, I'm kind of hungry and I want a little coffee. So I bought a little $10 coffee maker and then I got my little tiny toaster here. They did not have any bronze swagger. I looked all over and then I've come, come to find that they didn't have any left. So uh, we're just gonna have some uh, peanut butter and jelly toast. They actually sent me this like two months ago and I wanted to use it a lot before I actually did like a quick review. Here's the box it came in. Camp Power 700 is the model by Ace Volts, 2500 charge cycles, which is because it's the lithium iron phosphate version. This thing's meant to be over there and I have it up on the table just so you guys can see it. Let's turn this on, see what happens here. Oh, it's under 700, so we should be good. As long as that doesn't go up, I hear it heating up. Yeah, look at that. So once this runs its cycle, we're gonna dump it out and we're gonna put some fresh water in there. To just turn this screen on this thing, you just tap that and it'll, uh, you can view how much uh, watts are going out. You can see I selected 60 hertz, but you can change that to 50 hertz depending on where you're located. An input if you're charging it, obviously. And then uh, it shows the bars and it says 91%. It does have a little built-in light. So if you just kind of hold it for a second, it'll turn the light on. So there's high, there's low high, and we got SOS. All right, I think I ran enough water through it. So we're gonna turn that thing off. 
So we're up to 588 with the toaster. So this is uh, under its limit of 700. This actually has a 1400 watt surge. So if something takes a lot of power right away and then it comes back down under 700, this will work for it. It has a little like wireless 15 watt charger. So you just put your phone up here and as long as you have the DC button turned on, um, it'll charge your phone. I just wanted to use this toaster to really push this thing. Toaster, coffee maker, that's about as big of uh, items you would use on a power station like this. Whoa, we had that turned up way too high. Well, it looks good. Thought my toast was about to be burnt. Well, there's one toaster. There's a second one. My setup tonight, guys, is uh, definitely not fancy in any way. I just wanted to do this little review and uh, come out here on a snowstorm and look at some uh, awesome Christmas lights with you guys. So that's what we're doing tonight. Made two uh, toasts, put some jelly on this bad boy. Got some Simply Fruit by Smuckers, some strawberry. Mmm, warm toast in the middle of a Walmart parking lot, sneakily. Have a little coffee after this, and we're gonna go see uh, five million Christmas lights, so let me sweet. Caramel swirl. We got water in here, we got coffee in here. Let's turn this little guy on. There she goes. You can see it's pulling power because this thing turned sort of flashing. 578 watts, no problem for the Ace Volt. Two regular USB fast charges here. You got the one USB-C 100 watt, which is good. A lot of them only have 60 watt or built in light with high, uh, low, and then SOS. Then you got four AC outlets. Then you got your uh, 12 volt, which is what I use for my refrigerator back there. You got two of these DC 12 volt 10 amp barrel plugs. Then this, you pull this little flap. This is where you either use your solar panels. You, and also this is where you put your AC to charge it from the wall outlet and also to charge it from your car. So all three of those work in that port massive cup because like i'm spilling I need to learn how to pour with this thing i had to get out of here guys they're out here plowing the snow's getting deep all right 63 percent. we got her back where she goes this thing can take 200 watts of solar this is a 100 watt panel that ace volt sent me you can see it has its legs on both sides to set up set it up and then it's got a zipper here it's a water resistant zipper it has your mc4 cords that plug into the mc4 cords that come with the ace bolt it has these little metal uh grommets in there so you can hang it however you want and this does have that etfe coating so like this thing this will last a lot longer won't start turning yellow and that it is that monocrystalline so it's like a 24 percent uh efficiency magnet spots that hold together this is definitely a high quality uh little 100 watt solar panel so this is where i keep it when i'm driving i can uh, set my phone in here it'll charge don't have to worry about a cord it comes with your solar panel one this plugs into basically almost any solar panel it also comes with your power brick so this is obviously if you're charging it at home and then you got your 12 volts for your car you guys like my little new gopro setups this is the gopro 11 my newest one and then i have a gopro 9 for forward facing and then my night shots currently so i'm trying to get better shots for you guys so I'm just like sitting in the Walmart parking lot with all the lights off. I don't even need window shades because I got really tinted windows in these vans. And there's like snow on the van and just like, I don't know, it's just kind of funny. I feel like really peaceful sitting here drinking my coffee. And
All right, guys, well, we're back in the safe, warm van. It's kind of warm. It will be warm, but uh, I had fun. Hopefully, you guys had fun. Got to drive a couple hours in some snow. Got to see some Christmas lights. Got a Bentley cup so we can prove you're here for 2022. But, uh, yeah, shout out to Ace Volt for sending me that power station. Um, if you guys want to check it out, I'll have a link in the description. And, uh, yeah, until next time. Peace.